Hello, we are Team Workaholics. Our team members include Brene Warren, Alexandria Schufer, and myself, Aaron Newton. So, what is our show about? Well, we are trying to make an advance in our company. Our mission throughout this TV show we have created was to help demonstrate to you the challenges and everyday struggles in the workplace. Our target market for this series is people of ages 25 through 40 who can personally relate to an environment with management. We've created characters from completely different backgrounds, characteristics, and personalities and brought them together in a professional environment. And like most places today, we incorporated a diverse group of characters to interact with each other, which you will be able to, to see with, throughout our entire series. Now, we wanted to introduce our audience to some of the types of challenges that would be faced in the workforce and some of the correct ways in handling those challenges. Now, I would like to start by introducing our characters. The first character is Tom, who is the manager of the finance department at Big Money Incorporated. And Tom has graduated from the USF uh, with a bachelor's in management in 2001. Since then, he has held many managerial positions for a few companies. Before becoming manager at Big Money Incorporated, Tom was a senior manager at the Home Depot corporate office. He has recently been hired and assigned to be manager of position at the finance department of Big Money Incorporated. He is very assertive and likes to get the job done. Next, we have Sally. Sally is the oldest character in the show and has also been working at Big Money Incorporated the longest. She is 52 years old and has a lot of experience under her belt. She has worked from the very bottom of the company and has switched in between many departments as well. Sally is also a bit of a perfectionist. She likes the, to get the job done right and often goes above and beyond to do so. She is very timely and is all, always keeping track of her surroundings. On the other, other end of the spectrum we have Billy who is very obnoxious and lazy. Billy is only at Big Money Incorporated to collect a paycheck. He is 29 years old and has spent much of his earlier career bouncing around from job to job. He typically tries to do the minimum, minimum amount of work possible in order to get, not get fired. And he can often be found in the break room or chatting around with other employees. Lastly, we have Molly. Molly is the youngest character in the show and is a recent college graduate from the University of South Florida. She has only been working at Big Money Incorporated for six months now and is doing her best to make everyone happy. Sometimes Molly will even agree to do other people's work just in order to get on their good side. Molly is a hard worker and is sometimes overwhelmed by her workload. When it comes to disagreements or confrontations, however, Molly is extremely passive and prefers to avoid them at all costs. So, some of the concepts of management we used in Big Money Incorporated. You might be asking yourself, you know, how, how did we incorporate concepts of management into our TV show? Well, the answer is simple. We did it without trying. Um, that's partially due to the fact that we had weekly assignments and Part of the assignments was to read the chapters, and when we got together um, to meet up in groups, we already knew the material, and we just kind of knew uh, without the explaining what each term meant and decided to incorporate them into our show. Um, when we were brainstorming episode themes, we realized that we were involved involving several different management concepts without meaning to do so. Uh, so, <laughs> for example, in our flip camera episode, Molly sent a presentation uh, to the area manager in Alaska, and she sent it back suggesting major changes. Um, Tom the boss decided to not make the changes because we are a decentralized company, meaning we make our decisions based off our local demand. Another example of how we incorporated the concept of management was when we used SWOT analysis approach to make a plan of action 
on how to work out the differences we ha were having with each other in the office. So those are a couple ways, examples of how we use concepts, but all of these concepts we did so without really uh, diving into the books um, except for individual assignments. Now some conclusions of, on management. Be, uh, for these series, uh, being a leader can be a very rough task to say the least. We have not only figured this throughout, throughout the readings in this class, but also as part of our group project. Uh, there are definitely pros and cons of working in a group. The pros were that we were able to feed off each other's ideas and also come up with some creative material. Um, also, project assignments are a lot easier to complete when the material is split up evenly among all group members. Now, on the other hand, there are some difficulties with working in a group. One of these factors include the difficulties that were faced to find times where we were all free to meet up. It is also a challenge to work with people you haven't really known for a long amount of time. And for the online sections of this class in particular, it can be especially difficult to meet up when members of your group live near different campuses or are unable to meet in person. Another point to make is we found it was easiest to make the episodes by thinking of how things related to concepts in the book. By following this method, we ended up learning a lot more from this course. We also concluded that the concepts we learn throughout the journey of this class will benefit us with future group work in other classes and also in the professional workplace. Lastly, it, is all, it was a great work experience to work to do group work with great team members. And we thank you, Professor Diasio, for teaching us in such a creative manner. Next, we have some personal reflections from members of our group um, as to improvements uh, and ideas we have for future students and the professor. Uh, so first, we will start off with Alexandria Schufer. She is 24 years old and a marketing major at the University of South Florida. And she likes that she would like to add this as part of her reflection and that is this project was a, was a good experience. I've done group projects for classes before, but this is the first time I've done a TV show episode project. It was very challenging at times with everyone's scheduling being different. It was hard to meet up and get everything done without waiting till the final last days. Although it was stressful, it was a learning experience. I've learned how to work more effectively in group setting. I've learned a lot of new things about management and how it works. This class was very eye-opening and I believe I will take what I've learned and use it in the future. Next we have a reflection from Renee Warren. So Renee is a she's 19 years old and a biomedical science major at USF Tampa campus. And she would like to add that throughout my college experience, I've had very little experiences in group. This was def definitely been a interesting class for me. It was hard for me at times being a group because I live an hour away, but with great teammates, we all made it work to fit our schedule. This group work helped me because I now have more experience working together in an academic manner to complete a task. I would recommend this class to anyone. It was a great endeavor. And lastly is a reflection from myself. Again, my name is Aaron Newton. I am 22 years old and I am an information systems management major at USF Tampa campus. And I would just like to add that I have worked in several group projects throughout my four years at USF. These groups were usually assigned in class and also went to the same campuses as me. However, this group experience was very unique and different to me. The classes the class is entirely online and based from the USF St. Pete campus. This class proved challenging because of the fact that my group mates never met or talked in an in-class setting. We had to manage our time and work around each other's schedules. We had to coordinate meeting locations and do everything outside of class meet, uh, since we were all online. It is something I recommend doing if you have an easy schedule. 
but if you do have a difficult schedule, this class may be more challenging since other students may be at different campuses and also may or not may or may not have transportation. So do keep that in mind. But overall, it, it was a great uh, it was a great experience, but also very challenging. Now, just a few recommendations, uh, snippets from all of our group mates for future students. And the first thing is to be open-minded to new ideas. And that goes without saying that when working in a group, people will have different opinions and to always uh, respect those opinions and don't disregard them as not being uh, something you agree with. So always do keep an open mind when working in a group. Second point we like to make is that creativity is always key. Now, working with uh, w working with these episodes, you are creating them from scratch, and you have to stay creative throughout the entire process, especially when you have to incorporate these things with uh, management concepts. So, stay creative, take what you learn, and creatively integrate that into the episode. It's definitely key. Third point we like to make is to be sure to communicate with your group members weekly to be sure everyone is in the same page. And that just means to be punctual. Uh, you know, it's especially difficult if, uh, if some one person is left without knowing anything that's going on in the group. So do let all group members know what's going on and, you know, just keep in touch and communicate well. Communication. Um, it's definitely important considering you do not meet in class, so you have to go out of your way to perhaps email, text, um, whatever you have to do to keep everybody uh, on, the, on the same page. The fourth point to be made is that everyone uh, to, to be proactive and do not procrastinate, especially on group work. Uh, the importance here is that uh, it's one thing to procrastinate on individual assignments. But when you have three other, two or three other people depending on you, it's even more stressful. So do uh, your group a favor and try to do your best to not procrastinate and just stay active in the group. Um, just to relieve stress from everybody else. And the fifth point would be to be professional even if you are angry with group members or do not see eye to eye. Um, that's important because you don't want to be disrespectful to anybody. Um, if someone isn't doing what you want or not being uh, not putting forth enough effort, try to let them know in a nice way if possible. Do not get angry with them. Um, that will just cause problems and cause them to distance themselves from the group. And you don't want that when you're trying to get the job done. So be respectful. Um, try to let people know things in a polite manner. And everything should be good. Now the last point we would like to make is just to have fun with everything uh, in the project doing your groups you can only gain more knowledge working in groups and that kind of goes hand in hand with the being open-minded and just basically you want to let everyone you know have their own part in it keep it fun entertaining joke around uh, and at the same time just get the job done and try to do so creatively and all this will come together and at the end of it you'll have a finished product and something to be, have, uh, be happy about and it's really fun so stay optimistic and do your best um, so that's about it uh, I do thank you for watching this uh, thank everybody for watching this um, and thank you so much